As many of you know, Elizabeth Taylor passed away um, this past week, um, and I was really sad to hear that because she's one of my all-time favorite actresses. Um, she's a really inspiring woman. She did so much for AIDS research. Um, I just thought I would do a little something just as a tribute to her, and um, I think that her beauty is timeless and classic, and anybody can... Um, still appreciate and recreate her look. Um, I thought I would do my interpretation of um, the look that she had in the iconic 1950s movie um, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, one of my all-time favorite movies. It has Paul Newman in it, Elizabeth Taylor, Girl Ives as Big Daddy. Her acting has never been better than in that movie. It's it's absolutely breathtaking. Um, the chemistry between her and Paul Newman is like electric in that movie. Um, I decided to do her makeup look in that movie. Um, it it was kind of hard to recreate it because some of the pictures um, didn't do a close up on her eye. So um, I tried to get as close as I could. Um, and I saw that she had some purple in there, a little bit of coral up in the crease, a coral blush. And of course, she's a very tan woman. So I did a bronzer all over my skin um, and of course a coral lip because that's what she wore in that movie and it helps bring out her um, violet blue eyes so um, I hope you guys like the tutorial um, my tip is you want to get your brows as um, dark as you can without it looking fake since Elizabeth Taylor had black hair you could go full-on dark black and it would look okay for this look because their eyebrows are super structured I just went a really dark brown for me and I just structured my eyebrows and gave it a really dramatic arch. So that's the trick to doing a 1950s brow. Just really defined and arched and as dark as you can get it to still look natural. Please make sure to check out Cat on a Hot Tin Roof if you haven't or any of um, Tennessee Williams plays. I recommend Glass Menagerie and A Streetcar Named Desire. You definitely need to check those out. Let's remember Elizabeth Taylor and her beautiful life and all the wonderful things she's done. So um, yeah, she was such a strong woman and her spirit will continue to live on and um, her movies will, will never die. They're iconic and wonderful. So. We're going to start off with Urban Decay's Revolver all over the lid and this is just going to help give us a base for the rest of the colors we're going to put down. We are putting um, a medium gray purple all over that gray color and this look is all about layering color and eyeshadow so it is a little difficult but you guys can do it. Okay next we're taking a gray color, a soft gray color and lining our bottom lash line. Now we're using NYX's Roof Beer in our outer V and our lower lash line. Now we're doing a light purple from the 100 eyeshadow palette, the ELF 100 eyeshadow palette. And this is just going in our inner corner with a small precision brush. Now we're taking the ELF mineral blending brush and going over that purple color with a bit of that same light purple color. As I said, we're layering color. We're just blending out any harsh edges with that blending brush. Now we're taking the Urban Decay Revolver and we're putting that in the crease and blending out. Now we're taking a flesh color, a light flesh color, and we're just highlighting our brow bone want to get those eyebrows as arched as we can. We're using a dark brown color. If you have black hair, you can use black if you'd like. We're doing a very strong arched 50s brow, so it can be as filled in as you'd like. just want to make sure your arch is really strong for this look. We're using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. A liquid liner is essential for this look. We're just winging it, winging it out slightly at the end. Nothing too dramatic, but we are doing a thicker line. We're using Elf's Coral Blush and Candy Coral Blush for the crease, and we're just blending out to warm up the look a little bit. And this brings out blue eyes really well, and we're flicking it up a little bit towards the outer edge of our eyebrow. We're using Nyx's Black, and we're just lining the lower la lash line with um, Elf's Small Precision Brush. 
we are using Milani's Liquify Eye to line our upper and lower water lines. This is a little bit difficult, so take your time. We're using Urban Decay's Revolver to blend out the lower lash line, and we're using a fluffy brush to blend out any harsh lines. This is a really soft, smoky eye. We're using Everyday Mineral Soft Bronzer all over our face because she is very tanned and bronzed in this movie. This bronzer is very good for the fair ladies out there. It's very natural looking. We're using Elf's Candy Coral to lightly define our, our um, cheekbones and the Elf Complexion Brush to blend it out. We're using NYX's Round Lipstick in Herides, which is a beautiful kind of 50s soft coral color. And we're using a little bit of e.l.f. Studio Lip Gloss and Clear on the very center of our lips to highlight them. And we're using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Mascara because it's very black and dramatic. And we're going to get our lower lash line too a little bit. There you go. That's it.